Hi everyone. This video will cover how to change SE Podium's default render settings. So as many of you already know, SE Podium version 2.6 lets you save different render settings with each scene in your SketchUp model. So as you can see, I've got scene one activated and it's using the exterior default preset. If I switch to scene two and reopen the options dialog, you can see it's now using the interior default preset. So this ability to save different settings with different scenes is really useful if you're working on projects which require different render settings for different camera views, particularly if you're working on models that have both interior and exterior scenes, as shown in this example. Let me go back to scene one. Now, what's less obvious is that Podium actually has a set of default render settings that are saved to a global preferences file. And these render settings are automatically applied to any new SketchUp scene that you create. So let me get rid of these two existing scenes real quick. Delete. Delete. And let me just create a new scene and show you what the default settings are on my system. So I'll just click the plus icon here. We've got this new SketchUp scene. I'll open up the options dialog. And these are the default settings in my plugin. It's using the interior default preset, viewport, PNG, saving in the model folder. And in the environment tab, it's using the default SketchUp background. Okay, so since this is an exterior model, the default render settings don't really match what I need, but that's not a big deal because we only have one scene in the model. So all I need to do is come up to exterior default and change the preset. And maybe I want to use physical sky one instead of the default background. I can just click save and those settings are gonna be saved with scene one. So now when I open the options, it's exactly what we want. Okay, no big deal. That only took a few seconds to change the settings and save it with the scene, but those settings are only applied to that one specific scene. So what if we're working on a project where we need a dozen or two dozen different camera views? It can get really tedious if the default settings don't match what you need for the project. So for example, if I move the camera, make a new scene, and maybe we also need like a three quarter view. And if I open the options dialog, you can see it's defaulting to these interior settings that we decided we didn't want. Same goes for scene two. If I open up the options dialog from scene two, we've got the interior default preset, and instead of physical sky one, it's using the default setting. So what we need to do is change the default render settings, and thankfully this is very, very easy to do. So what we need to do to overwrite the default render settings is to open up the options dialog and save a new set of render settings when there are no scenes in the model. If there are no scenes in the model, the settings are saved to the global preferences file instead of the specific scene. So I'm gonna delete all three of these scenes. All right, and now we're back at square one. So I'm gonna open up the options dialog. Let's say we wanna use exterior default under environment, let's say we want our default to be HDR slash IBL. And just for the sake of demonstration, I'm gonna bring the intensity up to about 78, just so you can see that these settings are actually gonna be saved. I'll click save. That's gonna overwrite the default render settings. So now when I create new scenes in this file, they're all gonna use those default settings automatically. So come down to the scenes plus, Let's make one more. And now when I open the options dialog, it's using all those settings we wanted. So exterior default, HDR, it's got the intensity up at 78. I can show you this is also in scene one. All right, so it worked as expected. We have a new set of defaults. And from here on out, every new scene we create in this model is gonna use these default render settings until we open up a fresh file and overwrite the default settings again. All right, hopefully that's helpful to some of you guys. This question's come up a few times in support, so hopefully that answers it. All right, thanks a lot. See you in the next one.